Learn a fact about every item you touch, or forget a memory every time you touch an item. I think I'm gonna go with this one. Got my birthday gift. Let me see. My parents got it for me. It's designer. Parents bought this at Walmart. What? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Nothing. It's so cute. Thanks. It was probably so expensive. Hey, Mom, is it cool if I go to the beach with Ryan just for a few minutes? Darling, you know how I feel about you going in the water. Mom, your irrational fear of me being eaten by a shark is not going to come true. I promise you. It's actually very rational, dear, so the answer is no, it's not safe. Mom, come on, please, just this one time. Took you from your mom. Why are you looking at me like that? No, it's just you're right. Forget I even asked. Okay. This system has to be broken. Hey, psst, over here. Ryan, what are you doing at my window? Just trying to sneak you out from your strict mom so you can go to the beach. Did you dye your hair? What? Part of your transformation. You good? Hello? Yeah, let's sneak out of here and go to the beach. I need some fresh air. Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where your mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Come on, you gotta actually come in the water. Ryan! Place where mom was captured. Melanie? Is something wrong? Okay, this is gonna sound crazy. You think you're turning into a mermaid? And your mom took you from your real mom? But think about it, my mom never tells me that she loves me, and she never wants me to go in the ocean. She's paranoid of sharks. Do you really believe that story? I mean, it sounds more realistic than you turning into a fish. <laughs> you know what, you're right. The system is probably just broken, and my hair is probably just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Yeah, do you want me to walk you home? No offense, but she doesn't really like you, so... It's cool. Just be careful. Thanks. I will. Oh, darling, can you get me my phone? Of course. Do you smell that? It smells like salt water. I don't smell anything. Has secret videos of you? It's just a glitch. She wouldn't have something like that on her phone. Wait, what's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? What's this? It's been one week since the subject has given birth. So far, her child has shown no signs of being a mermaid. What are you watching? Were you watching a video? I was just reading one of your texts. Um, you got a text from my doctor saying um, this is urgent. She needs to come in for her next appointment. Give me that. I'm really sorry. I I should probably just go to bed. It's getting late. Not so fast. It's only 6 p.m. Is your hair turning blue? We're going to see your doctor right now. Have you noticed any changes happening to you lately? Be honest, honey. No. Interesting. Did you notice your hair is changing color? Yeah, I think my hair is just having a reaction to my new shampoo. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's take your temperature open. Using this to drug you. Actually, I was wondering, could I use the restroom really quick? <sighs> of course. Just don't be too long, okay, honey? I have to get out of here. Your real mom is behind door. I have to get out of here. Real mom is behind door. Mom? You want me to drain the tank? If I do that, won't you die? Oh, um, here. Thank you. How did you do that? How did you just transform into a human? I can't believe you found me. I can transform into a human because I'm part human, and so are you. They took you away from me. They told me I would never see you again. Dying. You're dying. I need to get back to the ocean. They've had me here for so long. Your father, he tried to stop them. My real father, where is he? Your father is dead. He died trying to save you. How could you? <laughs> we had to do whatever it took. Research is what we live for. Now get back in the tank. You stay away from her. <laughs> you can't stop us. You're turning into a mermaid too. Time to give up. Not quite. Freeze, both of you. Ryan. Hey, let go of me. You should be arresting the mermaid freaks, not us. Melanie, are you okay? Both of us need to get to the ocean. Okay, come on. My dad and I will help you guys. Has crush on you. We can take my police car. Come on. Thank you. Uh, we made it to the ocean. I don't feel so... Melanie? Melanie! Whoa. You look amazing. You can't tell... Don't worry. Your secret's safe with us. Thank you. We must go. But... I'll come visit you again. I promise. Okay. 
Ryan, wait, just in case I don't see you for a little while. What are you- <sighs> Don't take too long to come back, okay? So, how many words you get? Three again? Well, you might as well use them up right now. I love you. Aw, oh, babe. I love you even more. And what can I get you to? I'll take the steak and fries, and she's gonna get the side salad. That's it? Are you sure you don't want a bit more to eat? She doesn't have any more words left. Oh, I apologize. I didn't realize. Let me see that one, babe. Nah, I don't like it. I'm gonna find you something else. Here, try this one on. I'll come with you. Excuse me, sir, but there's only one person allowed in the fitting room at a time. What? But she needs help putting this on. Oh, well, since I work here, I can go ahead and help her out with that. It's no problem. Fine. Just don't be too long. Is everything okay? Oh, you don't have any words left, do you? I'm really not supposed to do this, but here. Hopefully that's enough words for you. He's not my boyfriend. Babe, you almost done? Sorry, her zipper got stuck. She'll be right out. Okay, just pretend everything's fine, and I'm gonna go get my manager. No, please don't. You'll get- I'm coming in! Whoa, hey, look at you. Red is definitely your color. We'll take it. Okay, I'll go ring you guys up in the front. All right, you're all set, and here's a gift receipt just in case you need it. Thanks. Come on, let's go. Glad they let you wear that out, huh? Hope you're hungry, because I'm making us some food. Babe, I made us a special dinner because you look so beautiful. Here, try some. Baby, come on, I promise it won't make you tired like last time. Somebody's feisty tonight. You know, why did that lady give you a gift receipt? It's not like you're gonna return it. What does it even say on here? No! Where did you get words from? Who gave you those words? Was it the saleswoman? Why did she do that? All out of words again, huh? How convenient. No, I want an answer. Wait here. Okay, now write down why she gave you those words. Let me see that. You better have a good answer. You don't know? So what? She was just being nice? Well, if I find out that you're lying, you know what happens. Hey, I'm back. So you like the food? Good, good. Babe, can you hear me? Yeah, she's out. Sorry, but I had a feeling you were going to try and leave tonight. What the hell are you doing? You didn't actually eat the dinner, did you? Well, aren't you quite the little actress, pretending to be asleep like that? Now, what were you doing with my... Amber Alert, missing girl from 2018, shit. So why didn't you call the police right away? I was too scared to call the police at the time, but after they left I did, and that's when they told me her description matched Claire Montgomery, who's the girl who went missing in 2018. After all I've done for you, and you go and lie to me, I need to ask you a question, and I don't want to set you free, so... How did you? Haven't you figured it out by now? I found a way to steal your words, and I can control how many you get. I mean, I gotta admit, it's pretty adorable watching you anxiously wait every year, hoping you'll get more words. But how many do you always end up getting? Three. And what do I ask you to tell me every year? I love you. I love you. Those were the only words I wanted to hear from you for so long. But you were never into me. Because you were a stalker. I admired you, Claire. I... I care about you a lot. Then let me go. You know I can't do that. I have to protect you. You're insane. And you're using up all your words. Here, take some more. You are a sick son of a- On second thought, maybe it's best if you remain silent. This is why I could never give you any more words. I'll come back down here once you- Looks like we got company. Officer, I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. That may be the case, but we're gonna take a look around, and if we don't find anything, then you'll be good to go. So far, I don't see anybody here, sir. Keep looking. Want to get your words back? 10, 9, 8, 4, 3, 2, 1. Words retrieved. Since we can't find anyone, we're gonna... No. No help, I'm down here. Wait, where's that coming from? He has a basement. I'm... I'm in the basement. Show us where she is right now. Whoa, okay, okay. 
Hey, are you Claire Montgomery? Yes, yes, that's me. Oh my god. Okay, don't worry, everything's gonna be okay. How did you get your words back? Boys, get him out of here. Don't even look at him, it's alright. Claire, tell him you love me. Tell him that I was good to you. Tell him or else I'll- Stop it. Somebody get him in the car. Want to take Derek's words? Babe, please. Get in the car, Mr. Parker. Babe, you have to listen to him. Don't call me babe. In fact, you're not going to be able to call me anything now. You're finally going to get to feel how I felt for these past three years. Being silenced isn't very fun, is it, Derek? Looks like Mr. Parker got what he deserved. Four million dollars or a stick? Oh, look at me. I'm going to go choose the stick. Happy birthday. Oh. <laughs> Kit, stick selected. Whoa, that's a cool stick. You're welcome. That's it. Come here. Mom! Leah, why are you chasing her? Because she made me pick a freaking stick over four million dollars. Leah, don't be so hard on her. She's only eight. Did you hear what I just said? You literally always side with her. I wish you were my age so you can understand how I feel. Wish granted. Hey, girls. Want to go to a party tonight? Mommy? Mom? Hey, who are you calling a mom? <laughs> Did I just turn her into a teenager? I think this stick is actually a magic wand. Yeah, you think? Turn her back! Okay, okay. I wish my mom was back. Ugh. Who are you? I am your mother, and I have been looking for you too. You are my daughters. She's trying to trick us. I wish for my real mom to come back. Wish already granted. What? This thing must be broken. Say mom's name! Good idea. I wish for Laura Jones to reappear and for this creepy woman to disappear. No, wait! Girls? Mom! What happened? Leah made you disappear, and a mean lady came. Yeah, it turns out this stick is actually a magic wand, so... Sorry... Girls, that mean lady was actually your mom. What? what? Yes, I'm actually your big sister, and I took you guys away from her when you were little, and raised you both. No, I... I would have remembered that. No, you wouldn't, because I also got a wand for my birthday, and... I erased your memories of her. You've been lying to us. It was for your protection. She was horrible. No, I don't trust you. I wish for a real mom, too. Stop! I wish Leah was frozen. Unfreeze her! I just need to take her wand. I wish for her to unfreeze. Whoa, what the... I'm sorry, Leah. This is for your own good. I wish for her to forget what just happened. No! Mom, what happened? Nothing. You just need to rest. No, she's lying. She made you forget. I wish for Kit to fall asleep. Hmm. Why would you do that? I... Is that my wand? No, Leah! Ugh. Why can't I remember anything? Because you, um... I wish to remember everything I forgot. No! <laughs> You're my big sister? Oh my gosh, Kit. I wish for Kit to wake up. Whoa, that was really trippy. I'm taking your wand. No! Ugh! Kit, give it back! I wish for you to tell us the truth. Was our mom really evil? Yeah, she was. But I shouldn't have erased your memories. I'm sorry. We, we forgive you. you. Here's your wand back. But I accidentally broke it a little bit. <laughs> Whoopsies. My wand! Mom, I can't do this anymore. I'm only 16. I, I can't handle her by myself. I have to put her up for adoption. Coming. Hi, my name is Emily. I was wondering if you wanted to buy some chocolate. Aren't you a little young to be selling stuff by yourself? Where's your mom? I, I ran away from my foster mommy. <sighs> you ran away? Oh, she's probably looking for you. Okay, here, um, come inside. Alright, well, I think I better call the police. What are you looking at? That little freckle you have right there. My daughter had the same one on her face. Oh my gosh, I think you might be my kid. You're my real mommy? You know what, I shouldn't have said that out loud. I don't know that for sure, but... Please, don't make me go back to my foster mom. She's really mean. Please don't bring me back to my foster mom. Sweetheart, I... Hi, I'm looking for a little girl. She has brown hair and brown eyes, and... Please, don't let her take me. Oh my gosh, Emily. <sighs> I'm sorry, she runs off a lot. Oh, does she? Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She, she makes me sell them. Oh boy, here we go again with the stories. I'm so sorry. But, but, Emily, do you want to time out? <gasps> no, no, please. Then tell her you're sorry. I'm sorry. 
It's okay. All right, Emily, it's time to go. Tell her. Tell her that you're my real mommy. I... Emily, we're leaving. Come visit me. My address is 2122 Maplewood. No, wait. I found her house. You know, I think she is my daughter. And I think I want her back. I am so sorry to bother you. And this is going to sound kind of crazy, but I think that Emily um, might be my daughter. And why do you think that? Well, about five years ago, I gave my daughter up for adoption. And how old is Emily? She's five. I see. And it's not just that. She also has a freckle in the same spot that my daughter had one. So you think that she's your daughter because of a freckle on <sighs> her face? Well, when you put it like that, it sounds... Look, I don't have time for this. No, please wait. I, I'm just asking for a DNA test. I don't have the funds for that. Oh, no. I would cover all of the expenses. And if she is your daughter, do you plan on taking her back? Well, yes, I do. And what if she isn't? Then I guess I would have to leave her with you then. <sighs> Fine. I'll allow it. She did great, and we should have the results in 48 hours. Hi, is this Miss Monroe? I'm calling from the doctor's office regarding your DNA test. Wow, that was fast, and yes it is. So, according to our test, it looks like Emily is not your biological child. Are you... are you sure? Yes, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I hate to be the bearer of bad news. No, it's... it's okay. So what'd they say? Emily, I just want to tell you that I think that you're a great kid. And I am so sorry for getting your hopes up. What do you mean? Oh, I knew it. You're not a biological mother, are you? Are you? No, I'm not. No, please don't leave me here. You are my mommy. I know it. I hope you're happy with yourself. Hello? Hi, is this Miss Monroe? We're calling regarding your DNA test. Yes, it is, but you guys have already called me. No, ma'am, I think you're mistaken. We just got your results in a few hours ago. What? And it does look like Emily is your biological child. <laughs> Emily, it's me. Is anyone home? This is ridiculous. Where are they? <laughs> that look like Emily in the back seat. Where is she taking her? No, listen to me. You don't understand. I am telling you that she is in danger. Again, ma'am, you don't know that for sure. And we can't do anything until she's been missing for a total of 24 hours. You know, if they're not going to help me, I'm going to find her myself. Hi, excuse me. Um, have you seen a little girl that looks like this? No, I have not. I'm sorry. It's all right. It's the foster mom. But where is Emily? Hey. Oh, you scared me. Good. Now, where's my daughter? Good Lord. Didn't we just establish that she's not your daughter? She is my daughter, and I think you and I both know that. You had someone send a fake phone call to me, didn't you? <laughs> you can't prove anything. Where is she? She's with a new foster family now. What? You gave her to a new family? She was too much for me to handle. I had to transfer her. Where? No, no. That is confidential information. You better tell me right now or I'll- Don't you dare threaten me. You're the one who gave her up in the first place. So if you want to be mad at anyone, why didn't you go look in the mirror? Why would she fake that phone call if she wanted to get rid of Emily anyways? Wait. Well, she came to my house trying to sell me some chocolates. She- she makes me sell them. I don't think that she gave her up. I think she wants to keep her and use her to make money. Emily, that is enough. It's time for bed. I want my real mom. She's gone. No, let go. Open up, ma'am. This is the police. The child is not on the bottom floor. Hey. Guys, I heard something. Hey. Emily. Hey, guys. Hey, ma'am. Wait, are you crying? What? No, I'm not. Come on, Brianna. We're your best friend. You can tell us anything. Can you guys just come over to my house? So what's wrong? It's Derek. He, he broke up with me over text today. Wait, Derek? As in school player Derek? School player? What do you mean? He plays every girl in school. He'll act like he likes you, he'll use you, and then he'll break your heart. Seriously? Why would he do that? No one knows, but what I know is that it's time someone taught him a lesson. We could do it. No, I don't know about that. Yeah, Nicole, I don't know. It might not work. Trust me, ladies. It will work. And I have the perfect plan. 
Step one is to give you a makeover so that you look absolutely irresistible. Step two, get his attention. Step three, get him to go out with you. Bree, you uh, <clears throat> you look different. Do you like my new look? You know, Bree, I've been thinking. I made a huge mistake breaking up with you. Um, how about how about I take you on a date or or something so that we can talk? Uh, I don't know. Come on, have you ever made a mistake? Okay, fine, but you are paying for the date. Okay, girls, take these so you can listen to our conversation. Okay. It's time to get revenge on the school player. Thanks again for giving me a second chance. Of course, but, um, can I ask you something? Sure, anything. When you and I were dating, you know, before you broke up with me, did you ever, did you ever cheat? At least um. I think I do. Hey, I promise I won't be mad, okay? I cheated one. I wouldn't even consider it cheating, to be honest. It was nothing. <sighs> Are you serious? Girls come up to me all the time, asking, do you want to hang out? Like, what am I supposed to say? Like... So have you, like, cheated on other girls, too? Cheating... Cheating's a strong word. Derek, it's a yes or no answer, come on. <laughs> Why do I feel like I'm being interrogated right now? Okay, yeah, that was in the past. I want to focus on us. I want to focus on you. <sighs> oh gosh, would you look at that. My mom needs me to come home. Oh, and we were having so much fun. Don't worry, I'll see you tomorrow at school, okay? It's time to get revenge on the school player. <laughs> Bree, come here. Why is everyone staring at us? Mm, no one's staring at me, Derek. They're staring at you. What are you talking about? Oh, how cute. He still doesn't know. Don't know what? Exactly. Got your little confession on the video. Derek, remember how you used to tease me for being a klutz? Well, clumsy old me. I was recording you. I didn't realize. And then I accidentally leaked the video to the entire school. You what? Yeah. Maybe next time you'll think twice before playing every girl in school. I'm a go-getter. If I see what I like, I'm gonna go after it. <laughs> Sorry, Derek, but I had to. I don't want any girl to go through what I went through. Because no one deserves to get their emotions played with. Have a nice day. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some celebrating to do. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aw, I win. Since you won, I, I picked these flowers for you. Prince Daniel, do you see that above your head too? Uh-huh. You have to get people to kiss you. Oh. How about I kiss you? But if we're soulmates, your score will... It will go up high. Okay. Yes. <gasps> Stop! You're forbidden to see Prince Daniel again. No. Go to your room. Stepmother, please let me go help the village people. I won't talk to any boys, and I promise I'll only be gone for a few hours. No. What if some stranger tries to kiss you and your score goes up? Why don't you want my kiss score to go up? Yours is already at 50. They say if you kiss your soulmate, your score goes up really high. Is that why yours is so high? No. Soulmates are a lie. I just have a way with men. But you're staying in your room. I told the village people that I was going to help them out today, and I'm not going to break my promise. Thank you, princess. We appreciate your help. Oh, it was my pleasure, really. Look, her score is going up. Hey, Princess Sydney? It's me, Prince I, Daniel. I have to go. Wait. I haven't seen you in forever. I'm forbidden to talk to you, remember? Oh, come on. You know you still owe me- Princess, there you are. Pick a language to speak until you meet your soulmate. English or Spanish? I mean, everyone I know speaks English, so... Surprise attack! ¿Qué te pasa? <laughs> Why are you speaking Spanish? Esto es su culpa. Oh, you must have been picking what language to speak today. Mamá, tenemos un problema. Honey, did you pick to speak Spanish until you kiss your soulmate? How did this happen? Well... Ella. It was an accident. I'm sorry. Aw, oh, it's okay, baby. Seriamente? Oh, stop. You'll be fine. Go to school. Don't worry, bestie. I speak Spanish. I can translate for you. Sí que. Gracias. Hey, girly, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Just wait here. <sighs> Por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Sorry, girl. I don't speak Spanish. 
Uh, por favor, ayúdame. Duele la cabeza. Are you speaking Spanish, girly? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Hey, I couldn't help but hear you said your head was hurting. Sí, ¿puedes entenderme? Sí, hablo español. I can understand you. Follow me. You said you need your medication. Where's your backpack? I... Okay. ¿Te sientes mejor? Did the medication help? Sí, gracias. So, you can't speak English at all right now? And you won't be able to until you kiss your soulmate? You never know, maybe you and I are soulmates. <laughs> I'm just saying, maybe we should try to... Well, that was nice. Sorry if I'm being awkward. No, it's okay. No way, you just spoke English. You and I must be... Soulmates. soulmates. <laughs> I have to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back, guys. Oh, okay! Oh, yeah! Bye. We'll be right here. Right here. So, um... How did you meet Sarah? From school. You? Work, yeah. So it's, uh... Some weather we're having, huh? Yeah, we're having some weather. It's, I think it's gonna rain, no? No. Mm. Did you want something to drink? Oh, I, I already have one, so yeah, I'm good. But you can, you can go get one if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'll just go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I seriously just don't like her. Like, who does she think she is? She thinks she's better than me, and she's right behind me, isn't she? Yeah. <laughs> See anything? <laughs> see anything? No, don't see anything here. <gasps> we just have to get past the firewall, and we're in. Oh, that's where you're going, nerd. Hey, this is so where were you two? At the movies. At the movies. What we meant to say was, we went to the mall, and then we went to the movie. She's really good! <laughs> Pina, you're wearing sweatpants. It's Monday. So? So that's against the rules, and you can't sit with us. Whatever. Those rules aren't real. They were real that day I wore a vest. Because that vest was disgusting. You can't sit with us! We need you to come in. Are you kidding? I'm working. This takes precedence. I'm in the middle of an interrogation. This moron is giving me everything. I don't give everything. Look, you can't pull me out of this right now. Natasha. Barton's been compromised. Let me put you on hold. Become queen or go to a strange land? Why would they even put that as an option? Whoops! Oh, stepmother, what have you done? Did you really think I would allow you to become queen? What's happening to me? You're being You're sent being to a land with no happy endings. What is this place? Oh my gosh, there you are. You're late. Late? Yeah, you're Princess Briella, right? Well, yes. Okay, follow me. The kids are waiting. When says you came to my birthday party. Oh, it's your birthday? Uh-huh. Well, today's my birthday too, but I'm afraid it hasn't gone very well. Aw, well, I have your book, Princess. Maybe that will make you feel better. Oh, that's my home. We read your book every day. Thank you so much for entertaining them. Of course. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, you don't have to pay me anything, kind peasant. But I am looking for a place to stay. Do you think that I could stay with you for a little while? Uh... Daddy, please? Please, hold my baby. I'll be right back. Ma'am, I... <coughs> it's been like an hour. Where is your mom? <coughs> It's freezing out here. I don't think your mom's coming back. Hey, mom. Honey, whose baby is that? Don't freak out, but some lady told me to hold her baby, and she never came back. <gasps> How awful. We better call CPS or something. No, no. I, I want to keep her. Honey, are you sure you're ready to take care of a baby? Yeah. You know what? I think I am. <coughs> it's not going to be easy. I know, mom. I'm going to take good care of her. Look, Mom, I'm winning! Oh, honey, how fun! Hang on, I think there's someone at the door. I'll be right back. Hi. Hi, can I help you? Hi, yes, actually, I believe you're the one I let hold my child, and I'd like her back. Babe, I got- Don't you dare use any more of those words, understand? Five million words? That's ridiculous. You won't be using any of those. 
I'm... What did I tell you about talking? I'm breaking up with you. Oh, really? Where are you gonna go? You don't have any money. <coughs> Nine million words this year, huh? No one needs that many. Hey, I need you to go to the store for me. I don't like that pink shirt you bought yesterday. I want you to return it. You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. Hi, what would you like to return? Just that? Okay, hold on one second. That'll be six ninety nine back on the card. Please help me. Please help me. Oh, uh, did you need my help finding something in the store, or...? Hey, can we hurry up the line? I'm on my lunch break. I don't got all day. Do you need medical attention? No. Hey, it's okay. Can you wait over there for me, hun, and I'll get someone to help you? You're allowed to use three words maximum when you go out. Don't be playing games with me this time. I'll be checking your words when you get back. I'm so sorry. The line is really busy right now, but my manager will be over here to help you soon. There you are. You took forever. Did you return the shirt? Good. Let's get out of here. Damn, why do I feel like I'm forgetting to do something? Wait a minute. You were supposed to make dinner tonight. Go on. What? Is dinner ready? Hey, 8,996? You used an extra word, and you're gonna tell me why. Please be a vampire. Please be a vampire. Werewolf. Oh no. Who is ready for their first day of scare school? Me. Did you find out what your soulmate is yet? Mm-mm, not yet. Well, as soon as you find out, let me know. Hey, new girl. What's your species? What? She means what mystical creatures are your parents. Oh, well, my dad is a vampire and my mom is a siren. Your mom's a siren? Like a mermaid? That's so cool. Yeah, well, they're both divorced now, so it didn't really work out. It's alright. Mine are too. Same here. <laughs> I heard Miss Scream is assigning us partners. Really? Yeah, hope we get each other. Yeah, me too. Draculina, you'll be partners with... Can you please just call me Lena? Okay, Lena. You'll be partners with Clauden. No way. I don't work with vampires. I'm not working with her. Well, I don't want to work with him either. If you don't work together, you'll fail the class. Is something bothering you, darling? You hardly touched your spaghetti and eyeballs. Nothing, just someone at school's been giving me a lot of trouble. Oh, well, why don't you just use your siren call to make them fall in love with you? Dad, you know I don't like doing that. Suit yourself. But don't forget to let me know about your soulmate. Right, I will. Claudin, look, we can't fail this class, so we're gonna have to work together. Fine, but I can't have you coming over to my house. My father would disown me if he saw me working with you. Likewise, but you do realize that I'm only half vampire, right? You're also half siren, aren't you? Yeah. Wait a minute, how did you know that? Uh, lucky guess. Mm-hmm. Anyways, why don't we just work at the old haunted house across the street? No one will spot us together there. No way, that place is infested with ghosts. Aw, oh, what's the matter? Too scared? I can't believe you convinced me to come to this haunted house. If you're too scared, you can leave. I'm not scared. Claude, and look behind you. <laughs> what? Got you. Oh, that's not funny. Don't even smile. You should have seen your face. <laughs> okay, next question. What is the best way to scare a human? Is it A to... What was that? Uh-uh, cut it out. You can't prank me twice. I'm not kidding. What was that? How would I know what... Search the house. This place is probably crawling with them. Are those... Monster hunters, yeah. Come on, we gotta hide. They're here somewhere. I heard them. Hey, it's gonna be okay. I won't let them hurt you. <gasps> Claudin! I got one! What kind of creature do you think she is? I don't know, but I can't wait to find out. Claudin, can you hear me? What happened? You were hit with a tranquilizer. Wait, what? Where did they go? Hey, don't worry. I took care of the monster hunters. I used my siren call. What does that do again? Well, basically it makes anyone fall in love with me, and then from there they'll do whatever I say, so I told them to leave this place and to never come back. Whoa, you... you saved my life. I mean, you were gonna do the same for me. Lena, my soulmate is half vampire and half siren. Um... My soulmate actually says werewolf, so I guess that means that you and I are- We can't be together, Lena. Our parents will never allow it. Wait, speaking of parents, we've been gone for a really long time. Yeah, we better get back. But, Claudin, 
I'll tell my dad that we're soulmates if you tell yours. Uh, okay. Dad, there's something I need to- Honey! Mom? Mom? Surprise! I'm human for today! Isn't your mother just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen? What did you do to dad? You know your father can be short with me. He wasn't gonna let me in, so I- So you used your siren call on him? Don't act like you don't do the same. I do not. Uh-huh. Anyways, what did you want to tell him? Well, I was gonna tell him that I found out my soulmate. Oh! Please tell me he's a handsome young merman. Not exactly. He's, uh... He's a werewolf. A werewolf? Baby, you know how your dad feels about those. I know, but I really like this guy. Does he feel the same about you? Mom, we're soulmates, of course. So we're your father and I, and look how we turned out. But- But nothing! You need to make sure he feels the same way, before you tell your dad. Hey, Clodden. Hey. So, I don't really know how to ask you this, but, um... What's wrong? I'm not allowed to talk to you anymore. Wait, what? I don't get it. At first they were okay with me dating you, then all of a sudden they're telling me to stay away from you. Well, maybe if I go talk to them, they'll change their mind. No, I, I think we better just keep our distance. Aw, oh, baby, what's the matter? Claudin and I can't be together. There are plenty of young mermen for you in the sea. No, Dad, I don't want to date a mer- Wait a minute, Dad would never say something like that. You're controlling him still. Of course not! You don't want me to be with Clauden, do you? Baby, I... Did you make his parents hate me? No, I just went over there to talk to them. Mom. Look, it wasn't gonna work out anyways. I'm saving you the trouble. I can't believe you. I'm telling him. Clauden, I can't talk to you. No, wait, there's something I have to... <laughs> Whoa, Lena, you alright? You okay? Yeah, sorry. I only get like this when I'm around garlic. Wait, really? Yeah, one of the many perks being half vampire. <laughs> I'm gonna go get you some water. Thanks. So she does have a weakness. Told you. You two, I, I thought I- Got rid of us? Think again. You won't be able to sing this time. Let's go. Ow! Hurry up and tie her up. We gotta get out of here. I know, I'm almost done. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena! Hey, get away from her! We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Don't get that garlic too close to her. We need her alive. Okay, let me just take a quick blood sample. Lena! Hey, get away from her! We're not gonna hurt her. At least, not too badly. <laughs> Thank you so much for saving me. Of course. I mean, I'm just glad you're alright. I'm really glad we were able to work things out with our parents. Yeah, now that mine are out of the trance, they really like you, but not your mom. Yeah, she says she's sorry. She's back in the ocean now, though. It's okay. Parents can be a little crazy sometimes. You know, I heard werewolves are really bad kissers. Really? Why don't you find out for yourself? I see his car. He's here. Copy that. Hey, you came. Of course. <laughs> I'm ready to run away with you. Me too. I say we leave and never come back here again. Cheers. To new beginnings. So, whose car are we gonna take? <laughs> Let's, Let's take, take mine. mine. No thanks. Actually, I wasn't really asking, sweetheart. Neither was I, sweetheart. Let me guess, you found the tracker. Did you think I wouldn't? Obviously I did, which is why I came prepared. Want to know why I chose this restaurant for us to meet at? Why? Because my father knows all the waiters. Including one that served you your drink. You little... Bring the van. He's not going anywhere. Let me handle this. No, Dad. I want to stay. Maria, he's going to wake up any minute and... Why do you keep looking at him like that? He's ready for you. Mr. Stefano, Miss Lane is here. Nice to meet you, Mr. Stefano. Please, call me Antonio. Take a seat. I hear you have a business proposal for me. Actually, I do. May I show it to you? Go right ahead. And that's how this deal will make us millions. That's amazing. Unfortunately, I'm not looking to make any deals right now. Then why did you have me explain it? 